Today's home workout is my seven minute workout by your qualified online trainer, Lucy Windham Reid. So this is a seven minute low impact cardio workout. No equipment is needed. I'm gonna be doing it with you in real time. Even though it's low impact, trust me, it is still high intensity. You are gonna glow. I'm gonna be working your total body. It's cardio, it ticks every single box. What I would say is, it's always really important. Do make sure you have done a warm up first, and then when you're ready, I'm ready to start getting you super fit at home in just seven minutes today. So here's a preview of the first move. We're gonna do six rolling arms and heel raises and then six straight leg kicks with your arms crossed. So we're gonna get ready. We're doing this one for a duration of 50 seconds. So let's get ready. We're gonna start with those rolling arms. So give me six rolling arms and heel raises. And now give me those six straight leg kicks, cross the arms over the chest. And we're gonna keep alternating that so we're doing this for a duration of 50 seconds. The benefit of this move is it's really good for conditioning your core, we're working your lower body, we're also working toning and strengthening through your arms, your shoulders, so it's a total body move, this one. And how it's gonna to work today, you've got seven moves, no repeaters, all, every single move is slightly different, so it's a really fun, safe, effective, body weight, low impact workout, but still high intensity. All right, keeping that going. So let's go for those last 10 seconds from now, and really keep focused on what you're doing. Think of the benefits you're getting from these moves, and let's go three, take it two, and one. So just march it out for me now. Just get your breath back for 10 seconds. Just going to show you the next move. So move two is two step backs and then two side taps. So for this one, we're going to start in as if you're going to do a squat. All right. So we're going to come into that position and then we're going to get ready to take one foot behind and now take the opposite foot behind, then take the foot to the side, side behind behind and then to the side and side. So you keep repeating that sequence. So it's two behind and then either side. And the benefit of this move is we're working through two planes of motion. We're working through what we call sagittal, which is that front or backwards move. And then we're also working frontal and that represents any sideways movement. So this means here we're again doing a total body move. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. You've got last 15 seconds. And let's go last 10. And each time you come back and do this workout, you'll probably find that you can take that leg a little bit further back and further out to the side because you will have increased your flexibility. All right, so march it out and we will now have a look at the next move coming up. So this is your chance to get your breath back. And for move three, we're going to do three power punches and then three and then you're going to go to the side for a lunge so three power punches and then a side lunge so this one here again will work in your upper body when we're doing those punches and then as you take that lateral side step out to the side we're then working your inner and outer thighs and again it's back to doing that lateral frontal plane of motion move Nice control, really put some power in those punches, doing really well. We've got last 30 seconds to go on this move and this is move three out of seven. And every time you exercise, just remember what you are doing. You are investing in your future health. And the great thing is these seven minute workouts that I've designed for you are so easy to do. You can do them in a tiny space. You don't need any equipment. And the benefit is that they're gonna make you feel amazing. And let's go last five, take it four, go three, two, and one. All right, so just march it out for me. Get your breath back and let's have a look at move number four coming up. So we're gonna be doing three side steps and then we're gonna hold and then do three running arms. And just alternating from one to the other. So we're gonna get ready and let's travel that over to one side, back and back, hold it here and now give me those three running arms. So let's just keep repeating that. So another time or when you come back to do this workout a second time, remember, as I always say, if you want to, you can turn down the volume and put on your favorite music because you'll be familiar with all the exercises coming up. Or if you prefer to still have me coaching you, then that's fine as well. And let's just take that side step. So if you want to make this one a little bit harder, as you do that side step, you can step out wider and take it to a deeper step as well. And you've got 15 seconds to go. Let's keep going, really drive through with those arms. 
For that arm part, this one is also really good at strengthening your core because what you're doing, you're naturally engaging your core muscles for stabilization. And let's go three, take it two and one. All right, so just get your breath back, deep breath in, deep breath out, and then we'll have a look at move five. So this one, we're gonna do three steps behind and then three straight leg kicks. So we take the arms up and you just travel that foot across and behind. So we'll start with extending both arms up foot behind, behind, and now get ready to kick in front, in front. So three sets of each, just keep going. So this is move five of seven, so you can see this workout flies by. It's just gonna feel so quick, just seven minutes, and we've got last 30 seconds on this move coming up. So again, think of the benefits on this one here. We're working through your lower body, we're working the glutes, we're working the abdominals, you're working your arms. So it's that total body move, reaching cross. This is gonna be brilliant also for your flexibility. You'll find the more you do this, the higher you'll be able to kick your leg. And let's just take that last 10 seconds. And then we've got five, four, three, two, and one. So let's just march out. Again, take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and let's have a look at move six. So for this one, we're gonna do four power punches, and then you're gonna bring the knee across and drive the both arms down towards the knee. So it's four power punches and those diagonal knee crunches. So let's get ready. Punch for four, and draw that knee up. So this one here, really good to work through your waist. So it's really good for your core when you're doing this. Also, you're still working through the lower body. So again, it's another total body move. And this is how this low impact workout is still what I refer to as high intensity. Um, this one is move six of seven. So I've only got one move left off this. So let's keep going, keep focused. You're doing really well for me. Draw that knee in, keep those abdominals tight. Give me those power punches, take that to that knee drive. And again, power punch, less than 10 seconds to go now. Let's keep that going. Keep focused, think about all the results you're gonna get. You are now taking control of your physical health as well as your mental health. So are we ready to have a look at the final move? So this one, we're gonna do four plie squats. Then you step the foot back for four and do double arm sweep overs. So it's quite a lot but this is good because it's gonna work what we call your motor skills as well. So we're gonna start with doing your plie squat. So squat for four, and now take your arms up and over and the opposite foot become takes behind. So you take it down for four and then tap that foot behind and sweep those arms, that's good. Just keeping that going. Definitely come and find me if you're not already on Facebook, find me on Instagram, TikTok, and just keep me updated how you are getting on with your training, your health, your fitness journey, and keep going, that's good. So again, we've got those plie squats, and you've got less than 20 seconds to go, and reaching that over. So this one here also gives us a little bit of a rotational move known as transverse, and that's where in this workout today, we've covered all the planes of motion, keeping that going. And this workout is great to do first thing in the morning, and you can come back and do it later on in the day as well. So there is your high five. What I'd like you to do for me is just carry on marching just until that timer stops. That's just gonna help me get your heart rate back down to that pre-exercise state and really well done with today's workout. Really remember what you have done, you and I have done in these seven minutes is we've looked after your physical health as well as your mental health and we've also looked after your future health. And let's be honest, our health is the most important thing we have. And then what I would say at the end of the video, come and do the cool down stretch with me and I will see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.